If I had to summarize in a word or two my experience coming here to the Stem Cell Institute, I would say worth it. It's worth it. Hi, my name is Jeremy. Uh, I'm from Santa Rosa, California. I'm a health law attorney. I've been a health law attorney for 25 years. My journey with stem cells began, I guess, really when I was diagnosed with my autoimmune condition, which is called scleritis. It's an inflammatory disease of the eye. It's pretty rare. Um, eight to 10 years ago when I was diagnosed, it was very scary because the ophthalmologist that diagnosed me, um, he went through a lot of other diagnoses first because it's a fairly rare condition. My symptoms, essentially, your eye can be one or the other or both. In my case, it's usually one or the other. It switches back and forth when I'm having flare-ups. becomes very red, very inflamed. It's very, very painful. So if you read the medical articles and things about it, people report it as some of the worst pain they've ever felt. It radiates into your jaw. It's really bad pain. It is a sight-threatening condition. Um, and some people can get permanent damage to the eye and it can lead to blindness. As a relatively healthy person, the idea of taking immunosuppressant drugs was um, not something I wanted to do. For the sake of one issue, I didn't want to hurt my entire body, my entire immune system. So I, I searched everywhere I could for literature about any other ways I could deal with scleritis. And really, there was almost none. In my health law field, I have had over the last 25 years a lot of exposure to medical journal articles, medical research, things of that nature. So I was already used to doing a lot of medical research. And so in researching scleritis, I'm not gonna lie, it was very scary. I chose the stem cell clinic here in Panama because this was the most uh, comprehensive, careful, and professional clinic uh, in terms of its protocols, its procedures, its safety, uh, track record for efficacy. Um, I really did my research. I know that there are cheaper stem cell clinics out there, and I know there's some closer to the United States than going to Panama. The stem cell laboratory is right here in Panama. I make sure I'm really getting potent live stem cells. And then of course I researched Panama. I have com felt completely safe walking around, you know, just as safe as any, any uh, city in America. My experience was that before stem cells, I was getting flare-ups of scleritis about every three months. After I got stem cells, I had zero flare-ups for about seven or eight months. And when the first flare-up happened, it was so minor that I didn't need to do anything. It was just like a, a little hint of redness in the eye that I was like, oh, that's the scleritis. Let's see, hopefully it doesn't get worse. And then, and then it went away. So it was uh, wonderful to me that I went for longer than I had ever gone before um, stem cells. I had never gone seven or eight months without a flare-up of scleritis since I was, you know, since I got it, since it started happening. And so I, I, I was obviously very happy with that result. Because I was coming to the Institute for my scleritis, I learned they also treat a lot of sports injuries and um, even professional athletes come here for their sports injuries. And it just so happened that about two years before the first time I came, I very much injured my right wrist and it didn't get better. So when I was coming here for my autoimmune condition, I thought, well, can't hurt. Let's try the stem cells in the wrist. And it's nothing short of amazing because after two years of having chronic pain literally every time I would exercise, every time I would do push-ups or yoga or balancing or anything, I would feel this ache. Between six and eight weeks later, uh, I was exercising, working out, and I went, wait a minute, it, it doesn't hurt anymore. And it hasn't hurt since, and that was two years ago. So I considered that a, a minor miracle. It wasn't the original reason I came, but it totally fixed it. I'm incredibly grateful to the clinic and 
I'm just grateful to everyone behind the Stem Cell Institute for her making it available to people. Because without it, you know, I wouldn't have the options that I have now.